Welcome back to the crazy world of Bloxburg. In today's episode, there is a chef that has his own restaurant claiming that if you buy his food, it will give you good luck for the rest of 2019. So I ended up going to his restaurant and actually buying food, but you guys would not believe what I found out about this place. But first, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to follow my social medias right here and right here for a chance to win a Robux gift card. All right, guys, I've been going from server to server trying to find something strange in Bloxburg, and I think I finally have. There's this guy named Bill Cooks Jr. Bill Cooks Jr. He just said, everyone come to my good luck restaurant. So that is kind of interesting. So I'm actually going to investigate. He says, I serve food that gives you good luck. You know what? <sighs> I already know this is gonna turn out crazy y'all so why don't you guys give me good luck by hitting that like button subscribing right now if you guys are new and hitting that notification bell cuz oh my gosh I just know this is already gonna be weird y'all okay I serve food that gives you good luck I don't know if I believe that like you know what I actually do I want good luck I really want good luck so you know what I'm gonna go and buy his food all food gives you good luck come check it out Wait, is this it right here? What? There, here he is, y'all. It says good luck restaurant. All food is $500? What? No way. All drinks? $500 for a drink? It could even be water, y'all. $500 for water. What? Oh, he's coming up to me. Ahoy, sir. Come in. Come in. Um, okay. I don't know if I want to come into a spot that costs 500 for food and drinks. Like, this is, this is insane. Ahoy there. Welcome to my restaurant, bringing you luck all 2019 with the purchase of any of my dishes for a reasonable price. What do you have a taste for today besides luck? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. $500 is a good price? Like, how is $500 a good price? Maybe it is a good price, because I do want good luck for the rest of 2019. You know, my 2019 has not been the luckiest. You guys know my YouTube channel got demonetized. So much bad stuff has happened. Yes, sir. So, maybe it is a reasonable price, y'all. $500, though? What if this is a scam, y'all? Do you guys think this is a scam? Should I buy food and a drink for five hundred dollars this seems like a scam i'm gonna say okay sounds good but first can i see your kitchen like i i want to see his kitchen first since this is this since the food is so overpriced i gotta see his kitchen y'all of course okay so nothing seems that special about this kitchen it just seems like a normal regular kitchen like what could be so special Wait, wait, what's this door? Why is there a metal door right there? Wait, I'm gonna ask him. Why is there a metal door right there? Like, I find that super suspicious, y'all. Why is there a metal door in a kitchen? Shouldn't everything just be right here? I'm. That's kind of weird. Do you guys think that's weird? Comment down below really weird right now if you guys think that's strange. Like, something isn't right about this house already or this restaurant. I feel like something is already off. Let's see what he says. I think he's typing. His name is Bill Cooks Jr. So does that mean like he has like a dad or something? Like he's a junior. So I wonder who Bill Cooks is. Behind this door, I keep the good luck recipe. I keep it behind this metal door to keep it protected. Only I may enter. What? He said only he could enter? Hmm, that's kind of suspicious but good luck recipe he has a secret recipe that makes all his food items give you good luck this is amazing y'all i'm gonna have good luck for the rest of 2019 or or am i is this a scam yes sir the good luck recipe brings you luck this recipe has been around my family for generations now I'm ready to buy now. I'm ready to buy now. This guy's talking very professional too. So that's what kind of makes me feel like, you know what? Maybe he's legit. Maybe he's legit. Okay, good, sir. 
Oh my god, I'm about to have good luck for the rest of 2019. My 2019 been going so bad, y'all. But this is about to give me good luck. I'm actually hyped. What may you have? Okay, so he's asking me what may I have. Hot dogs and juice. I want any kind of juice. So basically, that's going to be $1,000. Right there out of my pocket, $1,000 that I'm giving to this guy. I'm trusting him, y'all. I'm trusting that this secret recipe is 100% real. I'm going to pay Bill Cooks Jr. There you go. Oh my God, $1,000 is kind of a lot, y'all. It's a waste of my money. But you know what? I, I want it for good luck. Let's go. There you go, sir. There is your $1,000. Okay, follow me to your seat. Okay, so he's, he's gonna take me to the seat. Where is he gonna seat me at? This is a nice looking restaurant. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty legit looking. Oh, he gave me guests. Okay, so I'm gonna sit right here, I guess. Let's see what he says. Here, sir. Oh my goodness. He seems so legit. You know what? I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna see what he's talking about. I'm gonna see what he- Oh, oh he's going into the secret door. He's- I guess he's getting the secret recipe right now to put in the hot dogs. It seems kind of suspicious, but you know what? I feel like he's- I feel like he's telling the truth. What about you guys? Do you guys feel like he's telling the truth? Comment down below, he's telling the truth. Or if you guys don't think he's telling the truth, he is not telling the truth. Comment that down below. I'm actually curious on what you guys think. He's taking quite a while, too. Oh, there he is, y'all. So he has the secret recipe. Look at the chef at his work, y'all. This guy is a master chef. Literally, I want to be him so bad. I wish I, I, I wish I had an ingredient that gave me good luck, so I could just have good luck for the rest of my life. Okay, okay. Oh, he's done with the hot dogs. I'm gonna go back to my seat. Hurry up before he catches me. Okay, okay. I don't want him to catch me, y'all. I don't want him to catch me. I can't wait to see how these hot dogs taste. Enjoy your good luck. Okay, thanks. He said enjoy your good luck. You know what? Where's my juice at? He didn't bring me my juice. I paid a lot for this, so I expect to have my juice. Oh, yes, sir. Coming up. Okay, so he brought me my um juice. I'm gonna be like, excuse me? I have a question. I gotta ask him something, because I feel like... I feel like this is not good, y'all. Yes, sir? I'm gonna ask him, do a lot of people buy this good luck food? Because I just feel like it's kind of messed up if people spend this much on food. I feel like it might be a scam. I'm starting to think it might be a scam. And I'm starting to think I should sneak into that secret room, y'all. I have guests now. He gave me guests. So, therefore, I'll be able to go into a secret room where he keeps a secret recipe. And see what the secret recipe is, y'all. Oh, yes. My good luck restaurant is a favorite. Oh, my gosh. So, that means a lot of people come and pay him literally $500 for a hot dog. Awesome. I'll come back as well. So, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back, but he doesn't know I'm going to come back and sneak into the secret recipe room. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to go up to him and I'm going to leave. I'm going to say, bye, sir. I got to leave. Bye, sir. I got to leave. Thanks for the food. Good luck. Okay. Okay. So, he said, good luck. Awesome. I don't know. I'm going to come back soon, y'all, to his restaurant when he's not paying attention. And I'm going to find a way to sneak into his secret room. So if you guys are ready for me to sneak into a secret room, hit that like button right now. Comment down below, secret room, with a shock emoji, like, like, a, like a shock face, y'all. This is intense. This is so crazy. You know what? I need to take a shower, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. You know what? I'm going to head back right now. It's been about 5, 10 minutes. You know what? I'm going to head back right now. And we're going to try sneaking into his secret room. If you guys think this guy's going to be legit, I don't know. I kind of think so because he's so professional. But at the end of the day, he could be a scammer, y'all. And that would suck so much if he scammed so many people for their money. That would suck, y'all. And I would have to put it into him. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. I I'm going up to the door. Where's where's he at? Okay, I don't see him in here. This might this might be good. Okay, where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, he's, he's chopping up his food. All right, so I think he's done. I'm gonna go behind the wall. What the heck is? Oh my God, there he is. I, I think this is my chance to go. I, I'm going, y'all. Going. Okay, okay. There's the metal door. Are you ready to see what's behind this? Are you guys ready to see a secret recipe? He didn't see me. I'm so scared. Okay, let's see what this is, y'all. Let's see his secret recipe. I'm opening in three, 
two, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this kind of looks secretive. This is... I'm going to turn to the left. Let's see what's... Oh, God. All right, three, two, one. Wait, what? All that's back here is... It's like a dump place. All that's back here is trash in a pizza box. What is this place? There's not even a secret recipe back here. That means he's been lying and scamming people, y'all. That means he's been scamming people for their money. And I just paid him $1,000. He just stole... He just scammed me for $1,000, y'all. There was no good luck. What? This is crazy. If you guys think this is crazy, y'all, comment down below crazy. What? You know what? I think I have to sneak back out. I got to tell him, though. I got to sneak back out. Where is he? Okay, let's go. Oh! Uh! Oh, my God. He, he, he sees me. He wasn't supposed to see me back there. He said... Sir, you are a scammer. He's a scammer. He's literally a scammer. What? Let's see what he has to say about this. How is he going to defend himself from this, y'all? How is he going to defend himself? Pardon me? There is nothing in that room. No secret. There's literally no secret recipe. There's nothing. There's no secret. There's no secret recipe. He's literally scamming people for their money. Oh, haha. -ha. Well, dot, dot, dot. You know what? Well, nothing. Well, nothing. You are... You are scamming people for a lot of money. You scammed me for 1K. And he said he had a lot of customers. And? Question mark. That is not cool. They need their money back and so do i like for real they need their, we all need their money back y'all like we need our money back that's not even fair he's literally scamming people for hard-earned money that they worked for sir that will never happen he's not gonna give us the money back what you guys paid that was final what you know what? I'm going to tell everyone the truth. I'm going to tell everyone the truth about you. And you need to stop scamming. Now. He needs to. He needs to stop scamming now because that's not even right, y'all. Do you guys think this is not even right? What? I will never stop. Time to serve more good luck food in another server. I need to tell him to stop. Never. Oh, my God. Wait, he just left. No. I was. He literally just said he's going to go scam people in another server. So if you guys ever see Bill Cooks Jr. S -s selling food and making a scam out of it, do not buy his food, y'all. Do not buy his food. What? He just stole $1,000 from me, but I should have never fell for that, y'all. And now he's about to scam a whole bunch more people. What are your thoughts on this guy? What are your thoughts on what he's doing, y'all? Comment down below what are your thoughts of what he's doing. Because I feel like it's so mean. He's scamming people for their money, which is completely insane. He says he gets customers all the time, which I actually seen him get a customer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the crazy world of Bloxburg. This was insane. Hit that like button, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Share this video if you guys liked it with a couple friends. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Crazy World of Bloxburg. Bye, guys. This don't trust. Don't trust scammers, y'all.